<laughs> you wish. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On the camp today with the boys. Um, got two new recruits today. It's me, Rory, we've got Jesse and Pete. Um, first time at them, they're on our WhatsApp group. So yeah, first time actually coming up with us. So, before. eh? met me before. <laughs> yeah, I've met him before, unfortunately. <laughs> now there's um, four of us tonight, two new guys. So looking forward to camp. We're off to East Mill Tour, which I believe is that one just there. Um, so yeah, we'll see you up there. Yeah, and just like that, we're on East Mill Tour. So we're going to have a bit of a scout round now, look some spots. Um, there's quite a few on this side already, but the wind's going to be coming from the south tonight apparently, so we're whipping through. So I think we're going to go over this side here. But yeah, uh, get the bag off, get the tent set up and uh, make a coffee. What is wrong with people? There's toilet paper there as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Actually, I bought a bag, but. Captain Morgan's and Coke. And. Just don't get it. No. There's toilet roll there as well. No, I don't pick up. No. Oh, toilet paper. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. No, I've seen someone do some horrible shit when I went camping the other week. I made a video and everything was like. Just in case someone was like, did you do that? I'm like, no, you're recording. <laughs> <laughs> so you know it's not mine. Yeah, I think I'm going to fix them up a little bit on my bag. All right, setting up time. So Rory's over there, Pete's there, Jesse's there. I've got this bit here, so let's do it. That's tent all set up now. I just thought um show you guys quickly. So I'm in the um, Terranova Starlight 1 again tonight. I've only used this once on the West Devon way, but I love this little tent, it's so nice. It's a lot smaller than what I'm used to, but it's so cozy when you're inside. And it's pretty solid as well. Plus we to get a uh, nice picture. But yeah, I'm gonna try something tonight that I thought of yesterday. I'm gonna put the tarp over the vestibule with trekking poles. Basically double the porch space. Um, that's the only thing I don't like about this tent is to sit and cook or boil your water You've got to basically put your head in that event there. So, bear with me and I'll show you what I mean. And there she is. Turn over Starlight 1. DD Superlight Tarp, small version. Just to give a bit of extra cover over the porch. It's not the neatest thing because the, uh, the ground's quite uh, tussocky and stuff, but pretty happy with that. Just in time for sunset. Look at that, gorgeous. Get some cool shots in a minute. But yeah, this should hopefully double my vestibule space now. Hello. So hopefully you guys can see now. This is where the end of the top is. So I've now got meter and a half of usable porch space instead of about this much <laughs> so yeah this was a good idea I think and the good thing about this tent is you can peg out the floor and save about six to eight inches if you don't want to peg it out you can move this back and have even more floor space in the vestibule or when you go to bed you peg it out and you get like say an extra nearly 10 inches of living space so, yeah let's get set up and get a brew on
that's me for the evening on this nice little plateau. Nice sunset there, and I should hopefully get a nice sunrise in the morning. Jesse's over there and his fox too. Pete's got the Nordisk. What's that again, Pete? Sorry. Telemark 2. Telemark 2, that's the one. Nice. I've seen these, but I've not seen one in person yet. That's very nice. Yeah, I've seen uh, Chris, MCM Outdoors, has got one of these. And they look very, very good. That's a nice little tent. Oh, it's a lightweight one as well. Nice. Ooh. Feels like Mark's um, Fjallraven, like, like a condom. Yeah. <laughs> Stiff fart might break through. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is very nice. And it's got the punch on it for the um, festival. You can make it bigger and smaller. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yeah. It's like two man, I'll be absolutely honest. Yeah, but a two man's never a two man, is it? It's like one man and a small dog or a big bag, basically. Yeah. That is nice. Jesse's in his fox too. They were actually used one of these, but they look decent. They're quite, yeah, it's quite popular. Mark, Mark had one actually, I think. That's what George has got now. George has got Mark's old one. Nice. What's the uh, space like inside? Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. You could bring it. Yeah, you've actually got quite a bit of space, haven't you, for uh, your gear and stuff. Yeah, you could cut all the misses nice, in there, mate. no problem. Yeah. <laughs> Is this your new mat you said about? Yeah, mate, the yeah. Nice, so is that the ether, is it or something? Yeah, the XT ether, is it Etherlite? Etherlite XT, XT Extreme. Extreme, nice. That your new winter pad? Yeah. First time you used it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Watch your signal, mate. <laughs> so yeah, Jesse's gonna be toasting there tonight with his nice new winter pad. What bag you got? The Euro Hike, is it? Pat's got a Euro Hike, he said it's pretty good actually. Is it a, a down one? Is it? No. It's supposed to be a winter bag. Okay, yeah. Not, not extreme winter, but... Yeah, I mean, it's going to be, what, six degrees tonight? You'll be fine in that. Yeah. With that pad as well. Plus, be... I cook myself into my sleep anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, mate. be nice and toasty tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and Rory's over here in my old friend, the Terra Nova Pioneer 2. I do kind of miss this tent, really. It is nice. Has a lot of decent camps in it. Lovely tent, space-wise, it's pretty good. Yeah, lovely tent, I, I do miss this tent to be fair, but it's gone to a good home. I know Rory will get some good camps from it, and he likes it so far, so happy days. You know, and then, even more than that, then parts that are like a little bit like 7% Scottish and that, a bit from like Norway and Sweden. And then, yeah, it's white. Might as well just yeah. say white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Some of mine, on, I think the Cornish side went to America, and then my family, just after the war from Devon, went to Canada. Mm. Nice. And I've got cousins in Canada. And I went there when I left secondary school, when I went to start secondary school, left primary school, and I spent three weeks out there. Fucking amazing. Yeah. Niagara Falls. And Canada's place. amazing, yeah. I went with school. Yeah. <laughs> nice. yeah, went to like all the French speaking cities. Oh, yeah, like yeah, ten yeah. days on a coach basically just staying at motels but driving like through the back country in the autumn. Well nice. I, I only did, like, we had like a guide from Nova Scotia like showing us all the cool shit. Nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I only did like Niagara Falls and like, did you go on the boat? Uh, yeah yeah. 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 Made a mess, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Uh, so temperatures dropped, the sun's gone down, so we're making some food now. Um I'm loving this little setup. It's really cozy. Um so I've got plenty of space. You're about a metre from the uh, edge of the tent at the minute. You're just underneath the top. So yeah, plenty of space. Um, i going to cook my dinner now. So I've got something to eat, vegetable chilli. That I got on the last video from Goat Does. Um, cook set tonight. I've just brought the uh, miniature setup. So seat to summit. I've got my new uh, Frontier cup. So it's the updated version of the one I used to have. Um, it's actually got solid base and reinforced sides. So... Lost the other one, bought this to replace it, found the other one, so <laughs> this is my go-to and the other one's my uh, my backup now. And then, um, yeah, i got the Tokes 550 cup and the BRS 3000, minch gas and a pot stand. So yeah, just going to uh, whack some water on, make my dinner, 
Um, got a new bear tonight, the Brew Dog Wingman. I've not had this before, but it's pretty good. Um, my neighbour always gets it, I always see it in the recycling bin. So I thought I'd give it a try, it was in the co op. Um, yeah, nice little bear to go with my, uh, my chilli. Right, let's get some food on. I've not used this stove for ages, but I love it. A tiny, weighs like 27 grams or something ridiculous. Right. It's the difference between the Windmaster and this. <laughs> it's only a light breeze, but yeah, when the wind picks up, that goes all over the place. The Windmaster doesn't even budge. Well guys, it's um, 10 to 11, the temperature has dropped right down, the wind's picked up, um, it wasn't meant to be windy tonight, um, it was seeing gusts of 17, but it's just been like consistent wind for the last hour or so, um, as you can see by my lantern a second ago, and obviously the light on my face right now, and yeah it's quite windy, so going to get hot chocolate in my tent, get all cosy and watch some YouTube I think. And uh, yeah, hopefully the weather plays ball tonight and it's uh, the sky's clear and I can get some decent shots. And what I'm going to do is, um, so what I'm going to do now is get the kettle going, um, get hot chocolate made and get cosy in the tent. Um, obviously there's not that much room in the tent so I'm going to have to boil the water out here quickly, get in the tent, batten down the hatches and just get cosy. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the camera on time lapse, plug it into my battery pack, and hopefully get some sort of star lapse or something tonight because it's quite a clear night. We've seen what we think might be northern lights, there's kind of like a green tint to the pictures I've taken so far. So, I'm gonna leave the um, time lapse going overnight, plug in the battery pack, and just leave it on infinite recording. So, fingers crossed, if I get any decent shots, I'll uh, obviously put them on the video to show you guys. So, yeah, gonna uh, get the chocolate on. My hands are freezing though, but I need to take my gloves off to uh, use my stove and stuff, so I won't be out here for long because it is pretty chilly. Finally boiled the water from my hot chocolate. I didn't bring the windshield, so um, it took a while. <laughs> the wind's flapping, the flames everywhere, but yeah, gonna get this in me now, get in the sleeping bag, hunker down for the night, and uh, watch a bit of YouTube. I'll see you in the morning, guys. Good night. <laughs> chilly this morning. I um, say I woke up two or three times during the night, mainly for a wee or if I kind of rolled off my mat. Um, so I've got the Thermarest X Therm large, so lengthwise it's great, but it's the mummy shaped one. Um, so I have a tendency to roll about in my sleep and um, I usually bite my feet will come off. Um, yeah, so I woke up a few times with cold feet. I've got my down boobies on, but obviously when they're on cold ground. <laughs> You wake up with cold feet. Um, yeah, I just sat watching the sunrise and the colours are insane. Man. It looks like an oil painting. Uh, so I'll flip the camera around in a minute and show you guys. Just gonna get the kettle on first before I do that.
wow, that sunrise. This is how technical we are at LMT Kono. Using boots as a windbreak. <laughs> Uh, it's a great little stove this, but um, not the best in the wind. But it's just small and compact, lightweight, which is good. Yeah, I just filled some water with my coffee. I'm still having problems with this. It's a bit faster than it was yesterday. Yesterday it took me about five minutes to filter maybe a litre of water. A bit less. Um, I always fill the bottle, oh, litre, sorry, yeah. I always fill the bottle and then decant it into my bottle in there and then refill, so use this one and get to camp and then this is for the next morning. It's not too bad today, maybe because it's had a chance to kind of sit, lay flat and stuff overnight. Um, but yeah, yesterday was ridiculous. It took me, like I say, five minutes to do just under a litre of water it was, I think. Um, I tried messaging Katadin on Instagram. No message whatsoever, no reply whatsoever, sorry. They've not even opened it. Um, I've tried emailing them. I've tried emailing the UK vendor of them. No, nothing. So if you're watching Catadin, I doubt you are. <laughs> um, please reply. <laughs> please send me a new filter because I got this in January this year with my birthday and Christmas money. And um, yeah, I seem to have got one of the bad ones because all my friends, theirs work fine. Um, it's not too bad today. Like I say, the flow rate is... That looks alright actually today, but yesterday it was barely a trickle and it's not the first time it's happened either, so yeah, if you cut it in or if you are a shop that sells outdoor stuff and you're feeling generous, I'd love a new filter that works, maybe even try a completely new one. Hit me up, message me, whatever, that'd be great. <laughs> right, the water's nearly boiling now, this sunrise, I need to flip the camera around because it's going to um, happen before you guys get to see it otherwise. guys are up now we've um, had a bit of a chat on a coffee this morning time to pack up now so uh, yeah it's cold it's windy <laughs> nice and sunny though but yeah we just got to pack up uh, make a move it's about nine o'clock I think now so uh, we'll head to Greg's get some breakfast on the way home Go, ready to go now, all packed away. No trace left, just some squash grass as it always should be. That's like my catchphrase now when I say that every video. But yeah, awesome camp. Nice little spot I had there on this flat bit looking out. I've got sunset there last night, sunrise there this morning. Wicked spot. East Mill tour. Done. Um because normally my coat or whatever would have to go in, in here or be stuffed, whereas now like, I've still got room. Mm. You said that was a 35 degree. 38. Oh, 38. But I don't like using, I like to save my outside bit for rubbish. I don't like putting stuff in it. No, I, I have lost a few things annoyingly on my using the outside pocket. That's why, like with my poles, I thread the... Ready for a swim, boys? <laughs> nice little tour this, plenty of spots. This side will be a bit cold in the morning though, quite shaded. But yeah, East Mill tour, good one.
not that far a walk either from the car. I think it's about 1.6 miles or something that we walked. Um, I'll put the map on the screen at some point so you guys can see. And I'll put the GPX of the walk that we did as well in the description if you want to do it yourself. Yeah, it's quite easy to navigate to. OS maps, you know, you can plot a route quite easily. But I'll put the, uh, the route that we've taken today in the description for you guys. Downside of doing this uh, YouTube thing, I'm always at the back of the group. <laughs> so I always have to like stop to get a shot or film or speak to the camera or make sure I've got all my equipment with me. <laughs> Straggler. Straggler stew. But yeah, this is a bit <laughs> sketchy. <laughs> it went on my arse then. But I'll put the camera away now. <laughs> Just like that, we're back at the car already. Um, not actually filmed that much on this camp, so uh, quite a short video, apologies for that. Um, I do actually though want to dedicate this video to Steve, just another Insta hiker on Instagram. Uh, if you guys follow him, you would have seen he had an accident the other week. If you don't follow him, he had a pretty nasty fall at Fogging Tor Quarry. And I think he's like broke his arm. Uh, he's got like all pins in his leg and all sorts of stuff. Nasty fall, I had to get the air ambulance out and all sorts. So Steve, hope you're good, mate. Hope you recover soon. I meant to crack a beer for you last night. Didn't film much last night, so I forgot to do that. So this video is for you, mate. Hope you can get out soon. Hope you're not going crazy in hospital. And uh, yeah, hope you're men soon, buddy, and you're back on your feet in no time. Right, I'm gonna leave it here, guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining us. I'll see you soon on the next video. Goodbye.